Hi, I'm Faiz from Onsmo Studio Light System. As you can see, today I'll be unboxing Onsmo 80 400 Watt 3 Light Kit. Onsmo 80 400 Watt is a semi pro studio kit. It is suitable for short lock setup and even medium sized studio. If you are a serious enthusiast going into professional photography, this is a good choice for you. Once you unbox, this is the item you have. Firstly, 3 units of Onsmo 80 400 Watt studio light. A unit of wireless trigger and receiver, three power cables, one unit wide umbrella 110 cm, two units 70 times 100 cm softbox, three units 2.3 meter light stand, a set of bandsaw including color gel and honeycomb, and a light stand bag. Hi, basically I'm going to show you how to set up a light stand. Firstly, loosen this knob. And remember to spray the leg first. Next, you just push it like an umbrella. And you just push it until the support and the leg is 90 degrees as you can see here. And after you make sure that the leg is in 90 degrees, you just tighten it back like this. And if you wish to put it higher, you just easy. You loosen this to knob. And pull it over and tighten it back. There you go. Isn't it easy? Do not do it this way or in this way. It is wrong. So right now, I'm going to show you how to put on all small 80 400 watt studio light onto the light stand. First and foremost, loosen the holder and make sure the holder is in a straight line. Then remember to tighten it back. Next, remember to loosen the screw until you can't see it. And one more thing, before put on, Remember to press on the safety lock. And tighten it back. So, that's all. Right now, I'm going to show you how to set up on small softbox. On small softbox consists of on small carry bag, four rods, on small softbox shell, internal diffuser, external diffuser, and speed ring. First and foremost, you need to open up the one small soft box shell and make sure the silver part is on top. Next, open up all the inner vibe pro. There are a total of four inner pockets. Two, three, four. Which is two are able to be opened. Next, take the rods and put it into two corner pockets that cannot be opened, which are these two. And make sure the head of the rod needs to be put into the corner. This way. This is the speed ring. There's a lot of holes around it. And this is the bow mouse. Make sure the bow mouse is facing downward. And take one of the rod, put into one of the hole, this way. And remember to skip a hole. Take the next rod, put it into the hole. It's okay for you to bend it. Just that. Continue by opening the corner pocket. And take the remaining rods, put through it. And remember to skip a hole. And another one.
Make sure each of the rod in the hole properly. Make sure there's a remaining empty hole between it. And also, beware that keep the velcro open all the time. And it will be better if you have a friend to help you. So you can you may ask your friend to hold it in this way and you can start to pull it. Continue with another pocket. There you go. Thank you, friend. The following step. Take the internal diffuser that comes with the pin and clip it to the white strap. And final one. There you go, your internal diffuser. Next step, take the external diffuser and stick it to the inner edge of the Velcro. So, there you go, the outer diffuser. Last but not least, flip the softbox and stick back the Velcro nicely. There you go, on small softbox. Right now, I'm going to show you the setup of softbox on two on small 80 400 watt studio light. First and foremost, take out the cover, push the release button, twist it and take it out. Now, take the softbox, take off the back velcro, put your hand inwards, put the ball mount into the hole accordingly and push the release button, twist it and release it. Make sure the softbox stable. If you wish to change the direction of the softbox, put your hand inwards, loosen ball mount lock and twist it into the direction that you wish to. And don't forget to lock the ball mount. Not to forget, stick back the back velcro nicely. There you go. Repeat the whole same step to the other studio light. So right now, I'm going to teach you the setup of bando including color gel and honeycomb. As you can see, you shall have reflectable bowl, a bando, four pieces of color gel, and the honeycomb. First thing first, take the bando, lock the hook, loosen the screw, take your reflectable bowl, Put it under the screw and lock back. And don't forget to tighten back the screw until you feel that the flexible bowl is secure. Now open the band door just like this. For the color gel holder, make sure in your left hand side, right hand side, 
at the bottom. Then you can slide in your colour gel from the top to the bottom. And stack in the honeycomb by using the same method. That's all. As you can see, we're done with the setting up for all the lights. So it's time for us to power up the lights. In order to power up the first light, you need a power cable and the receiver. Put the power cable into the receiver. First and foremost, plug in the sink. Next, plug in the power cable into the socket. Make sure it's secure. For the other lights, plug in the power cable will do. And plug in the power cable into the power point. Turn it on. So, these are the buttons on the studio light. One indicates on, zero indicates off. First and foremost, we need to on the power button. Once indicates the red light means on. As you can see here, the radio indicator showing green color, which means the studio light is ready to go. Meanwhile, for the red button, once you press it, if it's trigger the light, means the studio light is ready to use. For the model button, actually it's for modeling light. And for auto button, it's for modeling light, where if you off it, the modeling light brightness will be at 100%. Meanwhile, if you on it, the modeling light brightness will follow the studio light power. Meanwhile, for bus button, if you on it, it will show you a beep sound if you press and trigger the lights. And if you don't want the sound, just opt it. Last but not least, the power knob. The lowest is the lowest power. Meanwhile, the right hand side is the highest power. That's what we have. The last but not least, this is the trigger. And as you can see here, the button here is the same function as the test button on the studio light. So right now, we're going to put the trigger on the hot shoe mount, push it, and tighten it. There you go, ready to shoot. Turn it. There you go, ready to shoot. Be reminded there's only one receiver and one trigger in the set. Other lights will be triggered by the slave port. For further inquiries to visit our website www.onsmo.com, I'm Faiz from Onsmo Studio Light System. Thanks for watching. Thank you.